Going and gone. For the first time in the century, the country experiencing its first coast to coast total solar eclipse. And these people in Oregon were in prime position for it today. Thank you for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. Kaylee's off today. So the sun wasn't completely blocked out, as we know, here in North Texas, but we still got a pretty sizable eclipse. Roughly 75% of the sun covered by the moon. We have team coverage today of how communities all across North Texas celebrated this very rare event. We're going to start things off with digital anchor Matt Uris, who's in Arlington today, where a science lesson became a watch party. Matt? Thank you. It was a watch party with good company. The kids really made the day. Beginning around 12.45 p.m. here at St. Joseph Catholic School, the parents and kids began to uh, walk their way out in small pairs or small groups, depending on their age, to get into position and watch all this unfold. Their reaction, priceless. Look up. Hold them on and look Whoa! up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Isn't that cool? Whoa. This is the first time these kids are seeing such a phenomena. The moon and the sun are kissing. Oh, like a banana. Oh. Put differently, they're watching the sun, moon, and earth move toward near perfect alignment, leaving the sun's light shimmering in the shape of a crescent. Have you guys ever seen anything like this before? Nope. Shannon Connors, the school science teacher, believes this lesson will help students turn an abstract intellectual interest in science into an emotional, personal understanding of the subject. Um, getting to view something in person, um, one on one per se, is a, a better way to experience something than just simply reading it in a book or even to some extent, even just looking at it on a, like live streaming. This is awesome. Because there were some risk to one's eyes associated with viewing the eclipse, Kids were chaperoned and given strict instructions. Do not look at the sun without special glasses. Parents also had final say whether or not their kids could view it. For me personally, I want to be here to share this with my child. Uh, it's how often do you get a chance to do this? So I'd be here and experience it with my children here. So I think it's great. All of the kids agreed. Did you learn anything today? Are you more excited about science maybe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn that little girl was going to say, mm, I didn't learn a thing, but that obviously wasn't the case. She and a lot of others did just that. Some of them told me they're already looking forward to how old they'll be when their next eclipse comes seven years from now. Live in Arlington, I'm Matt Uris for CBS DFW.